God has used this ministry to bless you in any way, let us know because we'd love to read your testimony out there. Overcoming Revelation 12. Is it Revelation 12? Somewhere around there. In Revelation Bible. 12, 11. Revelation 12, 11, I thought so. In Revelation 12, 11, it says they overcome by the blood of the Lamb. That's the finished work of Jesus. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. What Jesus did. And by okay, what we're prepared and to say what about. we're prepared to say about it. Our testimony. The blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. So this is yep. Casey's testimony. She yep. wrote us, or he wrote us. Thank you. Is Casey a he or she? I don't know. Could be either way. Could be either. Who would have a girl's name? Could be either. You he would. says with Ashley. I know. You so some things, but I know. I, so Casey, I'm very sorry if you are a male. If you're a man, let me know because the struggle's real, brother. If you're a woman, I'm sorry. So anyway, Casey, I have a home-based business that I was struggling due to. I think it's a girl because the t the, the way she's written this. First of all, it's too Isn't many that, words Casey, for a man. Are you on here? Most men don't write these many words. They're like, I did good. Amen. I think if it was you, you'd write that many I, words. Yeah, I'm more of a girl, but I did, like girl's brown. I did good. <laughs> okay. Amen. I'm really glad you cleared that up. That. But, but men are usually like straight to the point. Women explain things more. And the way she's writing, I feel like Casey is a female. And now I wish I hadn't dug myself this pit. This is the problem Can with live TV. Can you just read TV. the testimony? Casey, thank you for writing in. I have a home-based business that was struggling due to COVID-19. All the social distancing restrictions. Mm. I was preparing for my first demonstration. This is a demonstration. I have to say, this is probably going to be a lady who does like some sort of, you know, maybe like makeup or something like that, like a demonstration type business rather than a How man. How about you just read it? I just read the testimony. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what type of business would a man have that he'd have to demonstrate something? Like, if he was like a plumber, he's not going to come around and demonstrate his plumbing ability. Or if he's a mechanic, what's he going to do? Come around with his greasy clothes and tools, throw some oil on your carpet and demonstrate his mechanic abilities? I mean, there's no, I don't think there's many businesses that a man could go and demonstrate. Like, my mum used to have a Tupperware business back in the day. She used to have Tupperware parties. What is it? How do you demonstrate that? Like, lids on? Yeah, lids Tupperware off. business. And they <laughs> lids on, lids off. They used to have literally Tupperware parties, like the plastic, <laughs> you know, the plastic airtight containers, yeah. and have a party about it. Although there was one man who came around to sell um, us a vacuum, and he demonstrated it. I remember very clearly, this was back in the day, back in 80s. Back in 1980s. I was just a win. And he came in, and he uh, had the vacuum cleaner, and I remember taking the ashtray, because back in the day, you know, everyone used to smoke back then, so my mum and dad smoked. This is no condemnation. They this smoked was back in the, day. the vacuum? No, they smoked the cigarettes. This was before, <laughs> this was before they knew Jesus and before smoking was bad. That was, they used to smoke on television, everything back then. Doctors used that? to smoke in their surgeries. I know, doctors used to smoke in the surgeries, but anyway. So, back in the day when they used to smoke, the vacuum cleaner salesman came around, and I never forget this, I was just a little one, I was probably four or five years old. They took the ashtray, full of ash, threw it on the carpet, and we had that shag pile carpet. You know that, <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I don't know. I'm sorry, you're, I don't know where this is going. I have no idea. We're going to be what teaching gonna Proverbs next. three. Really We're going to be on Proverbs three in a minute. But anyway, this is very important. We're talking about wisdom. Through, this through is the this shag amazing pile. revelation. He picked up the ashtray and threw it onto the shag pile carpet. My mum nearly had a fit. She's like, "What are you doing?" Can't imagine it. Surely not. He pulled out our vacuum cleaner, our old bag did, vacuum cleaner. Didn't do it, did it? Hoovered it. Didn't do it. Then he pulled out what was called a rainbow back then. It was almost like a pre-runner for the you Dyson. Call a vacuum cleaner a rainbow? I think it was a pre-runner for the Dyson. It had water in it. It had like a water cylinder. Expensive sucker it was, if I remember rightly. I remember my dad complaining. Buy one. They bought one. I remember See, my dad complaining. He was like, a good salesperson then, wasn't It was he? like the price of a car. But it had like a water turbine in it, and it would suck the water through. It was called a rainbow. Anyone heard of one of those? Anyway, so he hoovered it with his rainbow carpet. Good as new. Can in you fact, hoover it? I hoovered with the rainbow. Yeah, the rainbow vacuum cleaner. In fact, like a cylinder with, with water in it. In fact, he made my mum vacuum more carpet and then he went over it and sucked all this. And it was like a clear head, so you could see all the dirt coming out. My mum was like, we've got to get one of those, our carpet's dirty. Anyway. So you were Casey, you, you going to read Casey's testimony? Casey's doing a home demonstration. We don't Would know if like it's Tupperware. It? We don't know if it's Hoover. We could, we could read it and Casey, then we'll know. whatever demonstration you was doing, I hope it was a good one. Praise the Lord. I run a home-based business, and I was struggling because of the COVID-19 social distancing restrictions. I was preparing for my first demonstration since the quarantine had started, and I wrote several affirmations down from Carly's confession card. Oh, if you're not aware of Carly's serious. confession card, you can get one of these free on our Indeed. website, terradesministries.com. In fact, you can just go to terradesministries.com now. Do you know that? Terradesministries.com. Terradesministries.com. On the home page, you can fill out the little form. We will give you one of these free of charge. In America, we'll send you the physical one, I believe. Anywhere in the world, we'll send you the download. I have the download on my iPad. I use it all the time. This confession card will change your life. Not because of the confession card, not because of Carly, but because it's the Word of God. It says on here, 
I am, and you put your name on there, I am a party waiting to happen. Angels rejoice over me, demons flee from me. I am blessed coming in and blessed going out. My family's blessed, my flocks are blessed. Everything I touch prospers. I'm the head, not the tower. I'm above the circumstances, not beneath them. That is a confession card. It's got like, that's like 5% of it. There is lots of, I think there's 40, 50 confessions on here. Get your confession card. So Casey said, Casey, by the what way. What does Casey say? Because we're all like really wanting to know. We're actually know looking now. at the longest testimony reading in history. Oh my gosh. So Casey said she wrote down. Casey said her dad sold, sold rainbows. Is that the same Casey? No, yeah, don't know. Casey, are you, are you male or female? Can you let us know? So anyway, Casey said here that she wrote down the affirmations, some of them, from Carly's confession cards. So you could actually, she actually wrote them down. You can write them down. Um, and began praying in tongues about God's blessing on my business. Amen. Isn't that cool? Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in tongues over your business. I do that all the time. And my customers and the cards I created. So she created cards. Mm. And everything I touch concerning my business. Amen. In case you are blessed. I tell people there's only two types of Christians. Those who are blessed and believe it and those who are blessed and don't believe it. So if you're a Christian, you are blessed. It's your very nature now. She said, um, mm. everything I touch prospers concerning my business. A few days later, I got an email about having an order. But I knew I hadn't made an order yet. And, but an old customer had placed an order, naming me as a demonstrator. Isn't that cool? And it was a complete surprise because she hadn't even done the demonstration yet. This was just like out the blue. <laughs> unexpected. Thank God for the blessings from unexpected places. God wants us to succeed and he uses others to make it happen. Come Amen, on. Case. That's a great testimony. We know you're a giver. You're a giver and that's why you're, you're increasing, praise God. There's one who gives yet increases more. The, 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 uh, the prosperous hand, the uh, diligent hand soil will be made rich. And Proverbs 11, 25, Proverbs 11, verse 25 says, the generous soul will be made rich. Mm -hmm. So when you're generous and you're diligent, you're going to be made rich. Casey, you're generous. You're a giver, we know you're a giver, and you're diligent in your business, and therefore you're, you're going to be made rich, and you are being made rich. The favour of the Lord is on you. So great testimony, praise Casey, the Lord. we made it. We got through your testimony. Thanks That's for writing a testimony us. itself. Thanks for writing us. That was like 20-minute <laughs> testimony. Casey, don't write so much next time. Wow. <laughs> it's like a 30-second testimony. Wow.